Hey guys, my name is Melody Miller and I go to Texas A&M University and I am a freshman. I just had my first semester there, so I kind of wanted to share with you guys what your first semester at Texas A&M might look like. So, let's get into it. So, I'm just going to go through the semester and kind of go through several different things that you should just know and be aware about. The first thing is fish camp. So, fish camp is a summer camp for all freshmen who are about to enter A&M and you get to learn lots about traditions and different things that happen at A&M and I would definitely recommend it. It really helps you find some friends and kind of first start integrating into Aggie land and what Anim is like. The second thing is impact camp. Impact camp is a Christian camp for any students who are about to enter into AM, both freshmen as well as transfer students. And I would also highly, highly recommend impact camp if you're a Christian or if you want to know more about Christianity. Oh yeah, I would definitely 100% recommend it. And I have met a lot of super close friends through impact camp. And then since getting to AM, I've also met people who went to impact camp and I've just connected through them through that shared experience. So definitely recommend both fish camp and impact camp. And then the next thing is move in. So I would recommend moving in as soon as you possibly can. There's lots of different move in dates. I think you can move in up to nine days before classes start and I would recommend moving in as soon as you can because there's this thing called Howdy Week at A&M and I'll get into that in a second. I would recommend moving in as early as you can so that you can really adjust to your new surroundings, meet new people, make friends, that type of thing, and just, yeah, get fully adjusted so it's not just a whirlwind getting to college and then classes starting right away. That would feel hectic, I'm sure. And then, like I just mentioned, there's this thing called Howdy Week. So Howdy Week is the week before classes start at A&M, once move-in is going on, and a lot of people are moving in, and it's just crazy, but it's super fun. I loved Howdy Week. Howdy Week is when I made all of my friends, and throughout Howdy Week there are tons of events and activities and so much going on that you can be a part of where you can go and make friends or meet new people or kind of figure out the layout of campus and that type of thing. I would definitely recommend inviting people to go to stuff with you. A big tip for move-in and Howdy Week that I would say is that very first morning that you get there, Text someone that you know is there, either someone that you met at camp or something else, or just go out, I guess, if you don't know anybody already, but definitely reach out to someone and ask someone if you can have breakfast with you that very first morning. That is how I made one of my closest friends. Someone reached out to me that first morning and it was like, hey, like, do you wanna have breakfast? And I was like, yes. And then that whole how do you eat? And up until now, we've stayed super close friends. So I definitely recommend that. Another tip for how do you week is walk your classes. So walking your classes is going to all of the different buildings and classrooms that your classes will be in for that next upcoming semester. I think I'm gonna do that every single semester. I did that for this semester and it was super helpful just so I already knew where the buildings were that I was supposed to be going to instead of getting super confused and having no idea where I was going, which did happen because a lot of people didn't know where their classes were because on the first day of classes, Wi-Fi went out. So maps were not working and it was just crazy. So definitely walk your classes. Another thing I would do during Howdy Week is once you have made some friends that kind of like know each other, that type of thing, make a group chat and be like, hey guys, like let's go to this. And everyone will probably be like, all right, down, because nobody has anything to do during that week. But there's also everything to do during that week too, because there's just so many events and stuff going on, but nothing like school-wise yet, which is really nice. Okay, my biggest tip for Howdy Week is whatever you do, do not stay in your room. Go out literally if it's just like sitting outside or sitting like in your hallway or something like that. Just get outside your room and go explore or do stuff because there's always stuff to do. Granted, you will want some time to rest, which I definitely think is good, but especially during Howdy Week, I think that's the biggest time to put yourself out there because everybody's wanting friends, everybody's meeting new people, and everybody's kind of in the same boat. So I definitely recommend just getting out during Howdy Week. One fun place to go if there's no activity or specific event that's happening is hang out with some friends on the top of a parking garage. That's what I did, I loved it, really enjoyed it, yeah. That's a little secret insider tip for you. And then the last thing for Howdy Week is if someone else has something that they really want to do, go do it with them. Don't hold back or be like, oh, I don't really know. Just go do it with them because you're showing interest in them and then who knows, like you can make another friend through that. But overall with Howdy Week, 
be spontaneous and be super willing to make new friends. Howdy week is the best time for new friends, I would say. Okay, and then the next thing to expect from your first semester is classes starting. Crazy, right? You think college is just gonna be fun, but no, there are classes, which is something you should definitely keep in your mind um, once you get to college. But one thing I would say for that first week of classes is try out the bus system. See how it is taking the bus to get to your classes if you have some classes that are farther away. But definitely like space out your time well to make sure that you have enough time to get to your classes because sometimes there is a lot of traffic when taking the bus, so sometimes it's slower. But it might be faster than walking, who knows. But I'd say definitely try out the bus system because A&M does have a pretty good, well-rounded bus system that can take you just about anywhere on campus and off campus too if you need it. Uh, another tip for the first week of classes is learn the building names. So there's three main buildings I would definitely say to know, which is the ILCB and the MSC, and then also Rudder. Um, a lot of our friends would say, hey, meet at Rudder Tower, just because a lot of people would know where Rudder Tower was. So I'd say know those three things. And then I'm gonna get into a bunch of other little tips and things to know throughout the semester or things to go to. So the first thing I absolutely loved was Hurricane Harry's. It's a dance hall and bar. You have to be 18 to get in um, and you do have to pay an entry fee, but it is so much fun to go country two-stepping. It is so fun. That was my big thing. So one tip that I would say for going into your first semester of college is find something that you love doing and do it all the time and just really enjoy it. So. That was my thing, so that's one tip going into your first semester I would definitely suggest. Okay, another thing you need to know is there will be a lot of football games. And football is one of the biggest things, events of being at A&M. And it is super fun to get dressed up and go with friends. And there's a lot of school spirit that you will need to be prepared for at A&M. But I would definitely recommend going to the football games and that type of thing because it's just such a fun, huge event and thing that goes on at A&M. So definitely be prepared for football. <laughs> and then another thing is do not be a two percenter. A two percenter at A&M is someone who does not participate in the school spirit. That's called two percenter because only about two percent of the school doesn't participate in school spirit and that kind of things. So don't be a two percenter and go to the football games and go to the basketball games and the soccer games and other stuff like that and it is gonna be so much fun and it'll definitely be worth it. Kind of going along with the first week of classes, classes will be difficult. That is definitely something you should look out for. It's not easy to get an A like it was in high school. You do have to work for your grades. And with that, make sure you have a planner to write down all of your assignments and just make sure you're on top of your schoolwork because it's really easy to fall behind or miss an assignment and then that assignment could be worth a big percentage of your grade and you had no idea. So just make sure you stay on top of your assignments. So definitely I would recommend a planner or a lot of people use different online planners or calendars like that. I definitely think a paper planner just for writing out assignments is super helpful because I can always go back to that and stuff doesn't get lost there. But find something that works for you. So one thing that you should be aware of is you should start working hard on your classes as soon as you get into your classes. Don't wait a while and say, oh, like, I'll, like, just get B's and stuff at first and then start working hard at the end of the semester. That's not going to work. You really have to start working hard straight from the beginning because, like I said, classes are difficult. And first exams are really a surprise. A lot of people might say you might fail your first exam and you might think they're joking. I definitely thought people were joking. I Not joking, but I definitely thought like, oh, like it's not going to be a big deal. Like I'm not going to fail my first exams. I did really bad on my first exams and it was definitely a surprise. So I would say work hard from the beginning, like I just said, um, and try really hard to make up those grades if you do poorly. It's okay if you do poorly, but you do have to continue to work really hard throughout the rest of the semester in order to make those grades back up if you're trying to keep a high GPA. Because grades are important. That is one thing you need to know. Grades are important. Tests don't get easier necessarily, but you'll learn how to work harder and work smarter. So that is a good thing about grades.
And then, okay, with grades and that type of thing, find a study spot that works best for you. That's a tip for going into your first semester is find the best place to study. For me, I really enjoy studying at the MSC, which is one of the main buildings on campus, but a lot of people prefer a more quiet area like Evans Library, or there's also a building called the ILCB where there's really nice study spots. There's study spots all over. A lot of people study at coffee shops like Quad Bucks or other places off campus, so definitely find what works for you. Another thing to be prepared for at A&M your first semester is walking. You will be walking a ton. Texas A&M's campus is huge and going from one side of campus to the other takes a while and it is a walk. So just be prepared for walking a lot. It's not bad. I love walking personally but just be prepared for that. So the next thing I have to say is that Canvas can get boring after a while. So I would definitely recommend, a big tip for me, is to go off campus either to someone's house for a weekend or something like that and just hang out and leave campus for a weekend, but with friends, like don't go home. That is another tip that I have is don't go home. I think, especially in the first month, I think after a while it's okay to go home, but especially in the first month, you really want to force yourself to stay at college and learn to love it there because if you're constantly going home, you're not going to see A&M as a home for yourself and I think it's super healthy to stay there and to learn to love it because that's going to be your new home for the next four years, so try your best to not go home if you can. But like I was saying is... Do go away and have little chips with friends. I think that's super fun and it's one of the best ways to make some of your best memories. That's definitely what some of my best memories were made from this first semester. So the next thing to be aware of is that tons of people on the weekends will go out and party and will go to Northgate, which is like a strip of bars that's right off campus. And if you do, just be sure you're safe and everything but that's just one thing to know. And then <laughs> something that's kind of funny is there are a lot of bike cops around campus. So make sure that you're stopping at the stop signs and parking in the right parking places. Otherwise you probably will get a ticket. Even on your bike stop at stop signs. That's important to know. Okay, so just be aware of that. And then another tip kind of just like with parking is there's not like free parking anywhere. So get a parking pass as close to you and your dorm as you possibly can. Another tip is go to the MSC Open House. So MSC Open House is something where basically all of the organizations and different things on campus will try and get your attention and say, hey, come join our organization or come join us. And we'll have flyers and tables and booze and stuff everywhere. So definitely go to that and look at all of the different organizations. And one tip I would have for that first semester at a and is join an organization or join something. Um, there's also FLOWS, which are freshman leadership organizations, and those are super fun and they're very active, very bubbly, very exciting, and if that's your type of thing, definitely join one. I think it's super cool um, for the people that do. I joined a women's organization and it's super fun to just have a community, have a group of people that you can go to events and stuff with without having to feel like too much social pressure or stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend joining an organization if you can. Another thing that you should be aware of going into your first semester is you will not like all of your professors. I, I said it. Um, it's just a fact, like some professors just don't have you in their best interest. They're just there because it's their job and they won't really work with you well. I definitely had that, so that's just something you need to be aware of. And just take whatever professors say with a grain of salt, knowing that it's okay, it's their job, that's what they're doing, um, and just continue to work super hard in their class and get the grades that you need, because ultimately it all comes down to how much you work and whether you stay on top of the stuff you need to. So just be aware of that, that is something to know. Another thing is, it will be hard. Moving to college is a big adjustment and you'll miss home. I definitely did. But one thing that definitely helped me was making my room as homey as possible. I think that's definitely a big tip that I have. Um, like I bought a rug, that was life changing. I loved my room so much more. So just finding little things that can make you feel more at home is definitely worth it. Another thing that might come as a shocker to some of you, but you will be responsible for yourself at college. There's no one who's telling you, clean your room, go eat, do this kind of thing. So it's really easy to forget little things like that. 
a lot of my friends would forget to eat. I would forget to eat. So definitely make sure you're still eating, um, staying on track, that type of thing. And also just keep your body healthy and your mind healthy. Um, work out when you need to and take a break or rest when you need to, that type of thing. Because like I said, you're responsible for yourself. It's different than high school for sure. Another thing to be aware of is that people will get busy. You'll want to hang out with friends and say, hey, like, let's go do this, let's go do that. But people get busy and they'll say no. And just don't take it personally. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You'll have your time with those people. Um, and maybe those aren't the people for you. But people do get busy. You will get busy. So just keep that in mind as well. And then for AM specifically, there isn't an official break for a long time. I think the first break was Thanksgiving break. And goodness, it was hard to last that long and keep going with school all the way till Thanksgiving break. But you can do it. The first semester ends right before Christmas break. That's when all your exams are and everything. And so you don't have to like retain your information over Christmas break, which is really nice, honestly. Classes end before, but you got it. Keep pushing through with your classes. Don't worry about it. It will be hard, but you got it. With your final exams for the semester though, they do have a lot of weight on them and they count for a big percentage of your grade for the class. So definitely don't slack, I would say, and keep the information from your classes like retained in your mind so that on that final exam you can put out what you've learned instead of just being like, oh dear. So that is important. Okay, and then I have two more things. One thing, it's a little pessimistic, but it's true. You will be tired. You'll be tired a lot. And that's okay, everyone gets tired. There's so much to do and there's always so many opportunities because it's a big campus. There are so many people around and so many different opportunities and events. And you'll have to learn how to say no to some things because there's gonna be something else that you wanna to go to during it. So you will be tired, but like naps are a thing. Naps are so good, we love naps. So definitely take advantage of the times that you do have to rest because like I said, you will be tired, but it's worth it. And then my last big tip and thing you need to know and be ready for for A&M is you better be spontaneous. And I definitely like my plans. I like having things structured and that type of thing. But also being spontaneous will open so many opportunities for you just to make friends and like to go have fun and go to different events and stuff. I think being spontaneous will be one of your biggest assets if you're able to do that and just able to let go and have a good time sometimes. And just being flexible with schedule changes is really important as well. But yeah, those are all of the tips that I would have for going into your first semester at Texas A&M. I have absolutely loved my first semester. I have made some amazing memories and amazing friends and some pretty all right grades, I would say. I hope that through this video, you got some insight into what your first semester at Texas A&M might look like. But anyways, I'm signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe if you want to. And yeah, have a great day. Love y'all.